right, I'm gonna try to get out. I'm gonna try to get up um, a small loss here. Okay, so I'm in a tough spot here. It's not really doing what I wanted it to do. Um, so either it's gonna stop me off for a one point loss or a three point loss, which sucks, but um, it's just not doing what I thought it would do. Okay, I'm out for a, a one point loss, which is $5 loss because of the $2 commissions. Hey, yesterday I took a trade on the one minute chart up here. And what I was looking for was a breakout of a one minute channel that would lead to um, a five minute trend for the first hour or two of the day. So I was looking for something like this Right, trend from the open or something like this right so usually on a one-minute chart if it breaks out of a channel a lot of times it can get you can get a big bull trend out of it for the first hour of the day or hour and a half of the day so that's what I was looking for and um, when it started going sideways here I knew the chances of that were less likely so I was trying to get out break even um, but we, we dropped so far below my price that I wasn't, I didn't want to risk all the way down to the bottom of the two bull bars. So I ended up getting out with a one point loss, which the losses always seem worse because of the commissions. So it's a one point loss, which is a $3 loss, but because of the commissions, it's $5. So if I lose one point, I lose $5. If I make one point, then I make $1. So uh, it's a bit skewed right now because of my position size, but I was actually okay with this loss. This is the first loss that I'm okay with because I know the upside potential is really high. So I'm okay with taking a one point loss in these kinds of situations when it doesn't work out because when it does work out, it can usually lead to five, six or seven points. So it's not as high probability as my other setups, but I thought I followed my trade plan pretty well. So in terms of the trade plan itself, that is probably going to change over time and in fact i hope it does change because as i gain more experience i should look back at my old trade plans and see the inexperience and see the things that need to be improved but the thing that i'm happy about is that regardless of what level i'm at um, i should always be following my trade plan 